Hi, so um, welcome again to my 100 days of video. And this weekend I was at a music festival, so I was unable to um, record because I was out of service once again, which happens a lot. I seem to go to places that are not in service, which maybe I should take that as a sign. <laughs> um, so anyway, I chose a, a bright sunny spot um, to do this video um, instead of sitting inside. And so I apologize if there's noise behind me, car noise. Um, but uh, yeah, so gosh, I have no idea what I'm going to say. <laughs> Classic. Um, I guess I've been thinking a lot about the next phase of my new business um, and getting more um, getting more clients and how I really don't want it to be about quantity or even money. I would like to pay the bills, but I really want to focus on connecting with people that I want to connect with. And so um, I know I mentioned a few videos back about like putting myself out on Groupon and like for um, basically for free because I know that you pay so much in Groupon fees that um, essentially you're kind of giving away your services but it's a way of advertising and um, I have kind of been moving away from that I know in another video I talked about how I thought about maybe um, you know having in-person clients because typically my clients are all on the phone for life coaching and um, now um, I just had this um, long 10-hour car ride and I spent most of it thinking about maybe um, holding space for people and um, I know that sounds really vague but if you've ever had somebody really hold space for you while you talked cried, apologized, vented, or even said nothing. There's this really beautiful thing that happens when we do that for other people. And I feel like we don't do it enough as a society. I feel like my consciousness started shifting when I was in the presence of people who were starting, who were holding space for me. And I know that's like a really weird, I feel like that's a really weird term because I think it's kind of like a hot term right now and um, I think that it can mean a lot of different things to different people and for me what it means is um, when you give someone space without letting your ego get in the way, allowing their being to be fully present and so allowing their ego to be fully present, allowing their soul, allowing their heart to be fully present all of those things and um, you know I think it's we don't do it in our society and, and I, I don't want to speak for the world because um, I've traveled enough to know that there are cultures that have different spaces and different ways in which they hold space for others um, and I think Americans do too and I also think that um, American culture um, could do a better job of not talking and so I've thought about, I'm really contemplating seriously giving silent space for people, um, holding a non-judgmental spot for them to share whatever they want to share, um, and knowing that that also opens up ways of, you know, like I've recognized that there are things that I all need to do to also cover myself, you know, like legally and things like that, because, um, you know, I'm not in a current, I'm not currently in a position that, you know, legally requires me to notify authorities if somebody, for instance, shares something that they've done that they really regret that's, you know, illegal. Um, and when you think about that, that could be the wide range, right? Like to murdering someone to smoking pot, depending on the state you're in. So you know, take that as, as how you like it, but also, um, there's holding space for people who just want to vent about their day, that don't want to take it home with them, or 
people who have like regrets or apologies inside that want to be able to share those um, and and that was my one of my first experiences with this holding space idea was um, I was in an exercise in a workshop um, where we um, were given the opportunity to apologize to someone and the the rule was um, which felt weird but it made a lot of sense after I experienced it was that that person had to that was receiving the apology could either choose to accept it or not in the moment um, which is another conversation but if they chose to accept it their only response was allowed to be thank you and I think a lot of us myself included struggle with that when someone comes to me apologetic for something my heart like goes out to them and it cares for them and it loves them and nurtures them and so then I want to say oh it's okay or no don't worry about it or I want to say all these things to make them feel better because they're going out on the limb and being vulnerable and saying I, I'm sorry but doing all that is is it's disrupting their process I really believe that and I, I wouldn't have believed that if you had told me that before this exercise but once I experienced it and realized that it's almost discounting their entire process. Like if they're going into it and they really feel, you know, I want to apologize to you for something, like they have an intention, you know, they feel badly in themselves for whatever reason, which is their own stuff to deal with, and they want to apologize for it. And for me to say, don't worry about it, is almost like saying, you're not worthy or you're not worth it or it's not worth it or you don't need to say that um, which which when you stop that process I felt incredibly empowered and I was able to recognize where my ego came into play so much more like when when I went up to somebody and said I want to apologize for this and they just said thank you it almost stopped all of the normal like domino effect of how we uh, approach each other and how we talk to each other in our culture and our society and like the normal sort of waterfall and and it's of course I'm saying normal from my perspective so your experience may not be this way um, that's how it was for me though and I I couldn't believe how I then realized too after you know which things was I saying saying were coming from like the deepest part of my soul versus coming from my ego part of my soul like oh I was apologizing that person just because I wanted them to like me that came up a lot for me because my personality profile um, in a couple different formats specifically the one I can think of right now is the disc um, the disc behavioral um, profile that's I'm an I which is an influencer and um, that means that I, I'm really great at influencing and connecting people but I also like the ego part of me is driven towards people liking me and so I try to be really conscious of that in all of my all of everything I do like even this video um, that's why I didn't want to plan for it because I knew that if I planned my topics that I'd be planning them so that I could appease to you the audience even though I don't even know who you are and um, for me that just didn't feel true to like kind of my deeper self and I wanted to be able to share like in the moment authentically uh, the thoughts that I have um, and if they come out what I would maybe say later is crappy or not the right way or you know not concise or whatever um, I, I, I just didn't want the opportunity to like you know to, to have my ego come in and play a role in that I want to be able to just bleh, it's all out and take it or leave it and if you're someone who takes it, then you're someone who, you know, maybe feels aligned with whatever I'm saying, or, um, or, and if you're not, then you're not, and that's okay, and me being okay with that is a part of my process of doing these videos. So, anyway, that was a tangent, but, um, holding space for people is really something that I, I feel like maybe would be a next step for me to help empower people, because I don't want to open up, you know, and I say open up, like, I don't want to dive into this next business of mine, of holding my, having my own business, um, without a really like deep personal connection and, um, 
just believing in what I'm doing and empowering people because that's really what I want to do. So I'm going to leave it there for tonight. Um, I hope the background noise isn't too bad. <laughs> I guess I'm kind of on a busy street. Um, but thanks for watching and um, I'm sure there's more to come about this new business in the future. I've got a lot of stuff coming up. Um, well, I always have a lot of stuff going on, so I just got back from a music festival and now I'm off to New Orleans um, for a week, so, um, and then another music festival, and then and then I'm going to Kyle Cease's Evolving Out Loud, <laughs> and then I'm running an event in Florida in the next month, and all this other stuff. I'm dog sitting in between there, painting houses in between there, working my day job in between there, so lots of stuff going on. I, I think I'm too busy, but that's a previous video. <laughs> okay. Um, have a good night.